Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm sorry about the lighting. For some reason, the plugs in my room have magically all turned off. The lights work, the plugs, I don't know. Something about it freezing here in Texas that my electricity, just my room, doesn't wanna work. So, forget about that. Welcome to my channel. And I have a whole bunch of stuff that I have been buying, that I have been trying, and I wanted to share it with you. So some's drugstore, some's high end, and let's start. So I have received this Ciate London Chloe Morello's Beauty Haul Volume 2. Um, I guess I missed out on Volume 1, but I have Volume 2 because it was on sale, plus on sale. So you can't, you know me, I'm a sucker for a deal. So it comes like this. We get a palette, um, a liquid lip, and oh, I feel spazzy. I'm slowing it down. Um, in Sydney, a eyeliner and a mascara in Wonder Wand. So I haven't tried these, so I'm excited to try these. And this is the palette. So I thought it was pretty nice. A good array of colors. Um, I like a lot of these colors up here and a lot of these colors right here so i thought it was a good combination of mattes to shimmers that you can make a couple a couple pretty much a lot of eye looks and different eye looks and get different really nice i think i tried it once um they blend okay they're not super powdery or super chalky um the shimmers of course are very nice but um they do take a lot to build up so I'll keep playing with this and let you know more thoughts on that. I thought I would just show you to start that out. I haven't tried the mascara or the eyeliner either. And I think it's, um, I don't even know what kind of eyeliner it is. Let's see. Fierce Flicks. And it is, I'm guessing a liquid. I'm guessing a liquid liner, which would be good because I'm kind of out of liquid liners as of late. I don't know why I make that face. I know I'm making a funny face trying to open this, but like, why? I said, done. Then I, I was reeled in by a fellow YouTuber and needed to try this Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara from, oh my goodness, I wanna say it's from L'Oreal. Yes, I wanna say it because I used a coupon. So what you do, step one, you coat your lashes. Step two is this little fiber thing, and well, it's a spoolie, and you put the fiber on. But actually, I kind of like it. I tried the Urban Decay uh, Fiber Mascara, and oh my gosh, when that gets in your eye, holy hell, it hurts and burns like you would never believe. And like I, when I do that, like my eyes cry and tear so much that there's no point in putting on mascara, or there's no point in just my makeup's ruined because. They cry so much. This one's actually very nice. I didn't get it in my eye. It went on my lashes nice. It created volume and length. And I really liked it because that's what I like. Um, and, and also in terms of mascara, the coffee break with Danny. So she, I watch her and she does the collab um, line that goes to Sally's. That's in Sally's. So I said she was raving about this holy grail. I think I got the wrong one because I got the the works mascara because there's a lengthening, there's a volumizing, there's like a couple more, and then there's like everything. So I got the everything one and it's very liquidy. Not liquidy, I wanna say it's really black, so it's really good and it creates the length. However, I feel like I can't just use it on its own because it gets kind of everywhere. But when I add it to another mascara, so say I use the Lash Paradise and then I use this on top, it makes my lashes darker and longer and thicker. So that's that's the kind of lashes that I like. So I'm actually not opposed to this one to like enhance other mascaras, which sometimes that's what some mascaras do. So if you don't want to take the time and effort to like really you know, do a double, then you can you can pass on it, but it's really not that bad. I don't want to say anything bad about it because it's not horrible. I just maybe need to try the volumizing one because that's really what I like because it doesn't really quite give you the volume and the length. You have to add something else for the volume, you know? So not bad, but 
not great. It's expensive too. It's like, let's say $14 maybe. But yeah, yeah. Anywho, um, staying with eyeshadows, Smashbox. This is not new. This is the Smashbox uh, Create and Transform Masterclass Palette. And this has been out for a while, I know. But I found it at Nordstrom Rack for um, $29 and it used to be $65. So I was like, hello, let's, let's, let's act on this deal. So actually, these are the shadows that I used today. I used... What I use? Nude in my crease, hazelnut to darken it up a little, and then I use Night Shot for the smoky eye. I don't know if you can really see how, like, uh uh uh, good night, eyes are. There we go. Focus. So, and I used Washed Out as my shimmer shade right there. So, oh, and I used Tail Feather. Ooh, too zoomed in. And I used Tail Feather just to the bottom of my lash line to get a little pop. I haven't really used the Transformer shades. I haven't really dipped into this too much. But the eyeshadows blended really easy. They were had a little, a little kick up. So you definitely have to tap tap your brush. But it was like a swipe, 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 add a little... It wasn't super hard or super difficult to work with. And this is the first time I've actually worked with Smashbox um, eyeshadow. So I was pleasantly surprised. Um, as I said, I haven't usually used the Transformers. But I did use the contour on my cheeks. And I used the bronzy tone because it's a little like warmer for me. And the highlight. So I both really like those. The only problem I have is that these are so small that it's hard. You have to use little brushes to like get up in there. Um, the lipsticks, the lipsticks were fine. The only problem I have is they keep popping out of the, of this thing. Whenever I open it, it goes pop, pop, and I'm just like, really? Like, that's how you're going to do me? But, anyway, I used Audition and Witchy and made a combo of them. I'm not wearing them right now. I actually had a switch. But, they don't go on as opaque as you would like. They still are more lip gloss than lipstick. But, I will play around with these. And we'll see if you see them again in a favorites or something. So, that was that. Moving on to a little drugstore. Um, I went to H-E-B and I found this Ame palette. Which I was still like super excited about these. Now, I will have to say, the they have semi-mattes that have just a little bit of shimmer in them. And then they have the... The shimmer shimmer shades. So the shimmer shimmer shades are really nice. They go on really well, but the blue and the purple and this gray color, they're kind of lacking. They are not very opaque. You couldn't really get them to go on very well. So, I mean, it's a hit or miss. It's, it's still kind of expensive for drugstore. I want to say it was $11 and I had a $2 coupon. So I'll get another one to see if it's just the shades because blues are hard. And, I mean, this one, there's no point in using that one unless you just stay there forever adding and adding and adding. But, um, yeah, they're just called Palette Pops, and this is in Fabu Fabulista, Fabulista, Hypoallergenic, Hypoallergenic, this is the kind of day. Uh, ophthalmologist tested, suitable for sensitive eyes, and contact lens wears. So, I mean, Almay is a great brand. I'm not going to knock it. I just don't like that. Color. I try to smoke up my eye. I try to like be blue, and it just it just won't work for me. So, I mean, if you want those shimmers, those shimmers are really nice, and you still get let's see one, two, three, four, five shimmers that are actually six shimmers that are really good, and it's just a couple of duds, which you can always use another palette. Now, what's a big dud? And I hate to say it because I do love all the brands. Everything has their hits. Everything has their misses. But the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glow in Nude. So this I was excited for. And this is a big wah, wah, wah. Because, alright. So when you swatch them, you can, A, you can't swatch things because it's drugstore. B, when you do get home and you swatch them, they're so powdery and not pigmented and ridiculously light that you cannot see anything like... If you want the subtlest of subtlest highlights, I mean, I've even tried to wet these, then this is your girl. If you just want, like, 
just a hint of like barely anything there it's gonna go away in a second like that's that's what you're getting it wasn't for me I like the pop I like the uh, the like I'm wearing a highlight and you're gonna see my highlight but these were just so disappointing for me and so powdery and I was very very upset yeah so moving on to lips I actually got a lot of lip stuff because I can't control myself when it comes to lips but I tried the Stila color bomb lipstick in Savannah I love this it has the most gentle like tingling feeling hydrating you pick your splash of pigment splash of color and I just oh my god I like it so much it is a little pricier because it was like 20 20 I want to say 21 dollars something like that um so it's so there you go a lip color that nourishes with a balm like a balm peppermint oils cool and calm concentrate plant base emollients melt on the contact for a creamy comfortable feel it doesn't last super long time because it is just like a lip balm but it's super super nice i really really enjoyed it my dry lips because my lips have been crazy dry very crazy very crazy dry all right moving on um i should have talked about these when i talked about smashbox these things out all right so yes let's start with smashbox so smashbox i got three liquid lips these are not super new but they're kind of new the nudes are more new and then the um metallic mattes so the metallic mattes i love i love green so whenever i see a girl i go green i like the metallic mattes however i feel like they're not that opaque you kind of have to build and let dry and build and let dry which it's fine they don't build up smashbox has a wonderful liquid lipstick formula but i don't feel like it's as good as some of the other ones that i've tried However, their nudes are awesome. This is Psychic Medium. Thin, opaque, went on well. You don't need a second coat. And it's just wonderful. Let's see, the other one I got was Deep Thoughts. And these are this, their whole new line of like nudes, just expanding their color range. This one's just a little rosier. There we go, all three. So we have the top one, which was Kale My Vibe. Uh, Deep Thoughts is on the bottom, and Psychic. I love how I just said it and I already forgot it. That's just like Psychic Medium. But very nice, great formula, of course, as always. Good job, Smashbox, reeling me in. $24, and I'm like, yes, I gotta have them. I just gotta. All right. After that, let's go with some of these babies. These are Rainforest of the Sea. I got these babies on sale when they had their Thursdays. You know, every week Sephora has, you know, weekly sales for on Thursdays. I got Siesta, Colada, and Set Sale. So, on sale with Ebates. Super great. That is what I'm into right now. I'm just into the nudes, into the malls. The, the oh, just nudes. Nudes got me this season. But I had, I got those. That's exciting. Urban Decay, Lynn, same color range. I believe Broken was on sale for eight bucks, so you can't beat that. Um, so cream, one's a cream, one's a sheer shimmer. Let's see. Let's open these because why not? Oi! I can't open boxes. I'm just gonna break the boxes. They're just, I don't know. They're just. So, Broken is going to be, oh, this is so pretty. I love new lipsticks. It's going to be right under here. And it's just a shimmery, sheer wash of color. Very nude. And then Interrogate is a cream, and it's a little lighter. Peachy kind of nude that I've been super kind of into. So that is what I got because I have issues guys I've got problems I see new things I see colors and I'm like I don't I don't need that but I need it I want it I'm gonna have it reward point usages 
usage. So I already reviewed the Fenty Beauty. But this was a little bonus for my points. Look how tiny that is. Look how cute. So cute. Especially when you get it for points. Oh yeah. Look at that dark or red, orange, woo! Red, purple, wonderfulness. I really do like these lipsticks. My only problem is that even though they are 17, you get all excited that they're only $17. They are only half of the product that like Urban Decay has and they're the same price point. So, eh, but it is the name and it's a good formula. So you can't knock it. But last but not least, I have a Winky Lux lipstick that I wanted to try. Um, we have this new shop over here in San Antonio and it's called Riley Rose and they have a lot of the online brands and face masks and stuff and they have Winky Lux and I tried their lip velour in meow because look again it's a nude this is, this is who I am and look at that color woot woot I like it so it doesn't really smell like anything. Just the hintest of sweet with the smallest chemical scent. Oh good, because anything that's really scenty, I can't do. So I'm excited to try that. It's it feels good. It goes on one pa one swipe opaque. So I'm happy. Last, did I already say last but not least? I'm just gonna add this in because all my videos need something biting them. No, I'm just kidding. But I got my Bite Agave Lip Mask. I actually ran out of the whole other tube that I have. And that was natural. So this time I got the champagne. It's champagne, right? It's the champagne because I wanted to add a little color to my life. I think they also added one that was specifically to Sephora Canada. And it's now available for all of us. So probably we'll be dipping into my pockets to get that too. But anyway. So that is it. Um... It is just things that I've been accumulating over the past couple weeks. Things that I found at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or um, Nordstrom Rack. Things that I found on sale at the different, you know, Sephora, Ulta, etc. And yeah, things that I've tried, things that I like, things that I don't like. Um, hits and misses, but that is it. I am going to go bundle because it's freezing in my house and try to see what is up with my plugs. Oh my goodness. But other than that, I hope you have a good day and a good safe week and laters.